I got my part in, so let's get started. I'm going to take this panel off with the two screws. I'm going to take this panel off with the four screws. Take that vent out. I'm going to try to do it without having to drop that steering column down, but we'll see how it goes. And if applicable, don't forget to remove this, which is the gear selector indicator cable. Dropping that down didn't end up being too big a deal at all. It was just these two 15 millimeter nuts. One on this side and one on that side. And the switch is just visible right here. It's got two eight millimeter screws. I'm in the process of removing them now. Just getting cut to pieces because there's something sharp back there. So I'm trying to avoid that. So I really can't do this and try to film at the same time or I'm not going to have any skin left on my hand. And there's the two little eight millimeter screws that came out of the switch. I got the rod off, the actuator rod. Then the switch is hanging, so now I'm going to disconnect the wire harness from it and we'll pull it out. It's just a matter of depressing the tab and that should pull out. Same with the black connector. There's the tab. Should pull out again. I'll have to do that off camera. In the vehicle it's installed like this. The rod goes in that section right there. And then the two eight millimeters little screws hold that on there. Then of course the wiring's on the right hand side. So I'm going to get the new one out and going to compare it to the old one. And again, this is the old one, oriented how it goes installed. Here's the replacement. Looks like that's a D4301, so I believe that cross-reference to what I looked up. The connector's the same. The Where the rod goes in, that's in the same orientation. So I guess it's time to hook this one back up and see what happens. Right here is my brown with white stripe wire which actuates the brake light on the dash. I forgot to mention this but before you can use this switch you gotta pull that out. And I believe we're fixed. I replaced the switch in the combination valve here for the brakes and I'll show the old one here and here is the old one I'll get set up here where I can test it okay here's the switch that was in the truck I believe it to be the original from 1981 and what I found is it's shorted. So that's why the brake light would stay on all the time. And now we can come over here. got no brake light on. So that is good. And also this this ignition switch feels real good now. And see that brake light comes on only when it's in the start position. So that's, that's how it's supposed to be working. So now I can button everything back up and 
give it a test start. Alright, I got the some LA's totally awesome. Sprayed that out down underneath where the radiator shroud goes, fan shroud, and rinsed it out. So that's nice and clean there now. Here's the engine bay all reassembled, fan shroud back in place. Wiring's all connected. And of course, have to have a mishap. Got a screw here. But come over here, I dropped that one somewhere. It's down here somewhere. Don't know if I'll ever find it, but for now, until I can get another screw, I just secured it with a zip tie right there so that won't flop around. But I will get a screw for it. That's not going to be a big deal one way or another. I'll either find that one or just go get one. Let's give it a start up. See how it does. It's been about two weeks since I started it. Not bad. No high idle, but that's okay. No brake light. I can put the let's put the e-brake on. That works. put everything back together. Okay, so I think we're going to be alright. Before I button this back up, I'm going to point out a couple things. Some of my other videos on this truck I've been asked about. One thing, this right here is the delay module. And that's the info on it. It hang it just hangs right here. Pretty much right behind the switches. Right there. It's got the three plugs. These two plugs plug into the actual switch on the dash. And this comes from the firewall. Oh, what else? There's the electronic spark control computer, which is no longer active. I think that's about everything I've been asked. These were 15 millimeters. Let's take that out. And mine just dropped down, of course. I remember to take this loose for the gear shift indicator. So now I will continue to reassemble. All back together. Wasn't too bad of a job. Took a couple hours, two and a half hours. A little while later, got the clock set, all that together. The switch has actual detents again. Working great. Should be 
ready to go for a morning cruise.